Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp, and today we are going to be making this um, lantern. There is a candle in there, so um, make sure you just put a flameless candle in there. Uh, it does have a little piece of uh, Velcro on the bottom so it doesn't slide all over the place, except it just came off. Um, but that just sticks right in there. Um, I did case this and now I can't remember who it was. So hopefully I will remember to, uh, put that on the screen or in the description down below. Um, but okay, let's go ahead and get started. You could also, this is, um, Thanksgiving themed, um, but you could also, um, definitely make this for uh, Christmas, make a whole bunch of them and put it on your mantle with some garland. That would be really pretty. All right, <clears throat> so I am using the Rustic Harvest Designer Series paper. And this measures two by 11 and a fourth. So two by 11 and a fourth. And then we are going to score that. There's two of them. Let's see. So let's score these. They, on the 11 and a fourth inch side, we are going to score at, and I'm using the bigger ball tip for the designer series paper. Don't press as hard. You don't want it to, um, crack or rip. So one, four and a half, six and three quarters, and ten and a fourth. Okay, and we're going to do that on both of them. So again, one, four and a half, six and three quarters, and 10 and a quarter. All right, then you're gonna need a piece of basic black. And this measures three and a half by six and a quarter. And we are going to score this on the six and a quarter inch side, three quarters. I'm going to use a smaller end on this one since it's cardstock. Still don't push too hard. Uh, three and a quarters, two and three quarters. Whoops. Two and three quarters. Three and a half. And five and a half. On the three and a half inch side, it's going to be three quarters and two and three quarters. So essentially, um, well, goodness sakes, uh, a th three quarters on each side. And if you keep jumping the track like that, you could always um, use some wax paper, rub it over your uh, cardstock, and it'll help, it'll help the slipping of the <clears throat> stylus. All right. So now we're going to take um, the black piece here and we are going to fold and burnish on all of the score lines. Lightly burnish on the score lines of the designer series paper. The top one you're going to go back on itself 
And then these ones are going to So essentially we're doing a valley, a mountain, a mountain, and a valley. Let's see, I didn't score this one as hard, I guess. Okay, and then this one will go back again. <clears throat> Right, and you're going to do the same thing on this one. So this one is going to go back. Make sure you get them straight there. And then this one goes Just like that. All right. <clears throat> so you're going to have two of them just like this. All right. Now for the box, we're going to take our snips and on both of the long sides, we are going to cut all the way up to the score line. And then just on the square pieces, we are going to do a little miter. on your Thanksgiving table in this paper. to take the stylish shapes and you're going to want the third one from the smallest and we're going to put that in the middle here. Um, if you have a one and a half inch circle punch that will work as well um, but uh, our circle punches are retired so wanted to give you another alternative. Um, but the circle punch uh, works and it's faster. So you can make lots of these. So I'm gonna bring in the mini and a one, a two. We'll bring in our paper here, another two. Send that through. I can tell you to be, um, if you are thinking about joining Stampin' Up, of course, any time is a good time. But in January, there's going to be a special incentive that is so cool. Um, so be on the lookout for that. When it gets a little bit closer, um, and I have the printout, I, it was announced yesterday during On Stage, which I did not get to attend, but uh, my upline <clears throat> posted all of the details for us that did not get to go. So, um, yeah, so I am super excited for it. It is so cool. Okay, so we're going to put glue on all of the squares. And we're just going to make a box here. And um, 
this is going to be on the inside of your little lantern so you're not even going to really see it so that's why I was saying if you have a punch you could use the punch because you could just put this up put the punch in here it does cut a little bit off of here but you're you're not even going to see it so it does not matter We will do this like this here. Hold it for a second. And then these are also going to get glued. And then this is all going to fold up inside just like this. So let's put some glue on here. And then this will go fold up. on each side just hold it for a second and then this is going to get folded on the inside or maybe it's going to go this way now yep it's going to go this way now just depends on which way you put those um, flaps on the inside so that's going to go like that now you can put glue on there if you want to um, but it's pretty sturdy without it so I'm not going to I'm gonna put a little bit on this side because it's kind of flopping up and this side over here and just kind of hold those for a second like that so then we will take a uh, here's our little candle <clears throat> here is our little velcro dots and I got these on Amazon in this big they're three eight inch white and I got them on Amazon. If you want the link, let me know and I will uh, look it up. So I'm gonna take that off of there. Make sure to take this part off. And I'm gonna stick that on here so that both ends are together. Just make sure that they're on there. Right. and then you can put this in here uh, with the one and a half inch circle punch it fits in there more snugly so you don't actually have to have the velcro dot not that you have to have the velcro dot anyway uh, but with this one then it doesn't um, wiggle around so there is that. Okay, now we're going to take these two pieces. I am using our retired detailed trio punch to round the corners. So I'm going to round all four corners. Just make sure you have it in there nice and flush. And I'm going to do that on both of them. Now, <clears throat> you can get a hole punch off a supply store, Walmart, wherever. I'm going to fold this together like this and then take the hole punch and about, oh, 
half an inch, a half, a, or not a half, about a quarter of an inch up from the score line. I'm going to make two holes, just like that, and I'm going to do that on both of them. Now, I think this is um, about an, an eighth, it doesn't say, but I think this is an eighth um, hole punch. All right, now we're going to take some liquid glue and I'm going to put it in this square in the middle here. I'm going to center these best you can. here just like that and then we can take our little box that we made put some glue on that and put that in the center just like that I am using the gingham ribbon the black and white quarter inch gingham ribbon all right <clears throat> this is going to be and it's not hard it's just inconvenient um so we're going to take our ribbon we're going to and hopefully i'm doing this and i won't have to redo it we're going to start on we're going to thread through first. Um, I'm just going to take a paper piercer and put that through the hole. I need to get my nails done so badly. They are way too long. And I've got paint on them from another project I was working on. <laughs> so we're going to start on the inside and pull through. And then... back on the inside All right, and then just kind of get this straight just helps in the end process and then stick that through We're just gonna, you can um, adjust, of course, when we're done. And again, kind of making sure that this is flat. I'm leaving it on the roll so that um, I don't waste as much. Okay, and then this. Uh, <clears throat> and if you don't like the way they're, I should have done this beforehand. If you don't like the that they're not, you can take your bone folder and kind of give it a little curve there and that's easier to do when you are um, before you put your ribbon in just like that all right that's better <clears throat> all right so all right this one needs to go back in here <clears throat> all right 
and then it looks like I have a little too much ribbon. So I'm actually going to go back out just a little bit. So I don't really want to waste this. Now, this I'm going to cut off now since I find my way with scissors. Okay. All right, now I have to remember. And this one goes through here. Kind of straighten it up a little bit and then we will give this a tie put a bow fluff those out a little bit over there so that when you push that down you're going to be able to get in there to get your candle all right <clears throat> I really should have waited to tie my bow though uh, I have to put my tag on there. So we are using the, excuse me, Soft Seedlings stamp set. And I'm really, I'm using the So Grateful and this little, um, we used to call them helicopters when I was little. I have no idea what the real name is. Um, <clears throat> right. I have a piece of basic white here. Then I also have a piece of uh, Mary Merlot and, or no, yep, Mary Merlot um, and Mossy Metal. Um, because, like, depending on where your um, tag ends up on your project. I kind of based it on that. So I think I'm going to use the Mary Merlot, which is the same one that I used, um, on my other one. And <clears throat> I'm using the Label Me Pretty Punch. And I'm just going to punch that out there. And we will Take our So Grateful, and I did use the, um, you can either use the Mossy Meadow or the Mary Merlot ink. <clears throat> I used the Mossy Meadow on the other one, so um, I think uh, so that they match, so if I want to put them <clears throat> on my table, which I'm not having Thanksgiving, my sister is. Um, or wherever they will match. So I am putting this in the middle here. 
just like that. I'm going to leave that open and open up my Mary Merlot and my little helicopter here. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of stamping with the Mary Merlot and then a little bit with the um, Mossy Meadow. Let me get a piece of grid paper here because I don't want to mess up my other grid paper. <clears throat> and not that it really even matters because you're probably not going to be able to see it both. But, oh yeah, you can. Um, so I'm going to stamp that off. Make sure it's nice and clean. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Put a little bit of the Mary Merlot and then a little bit of the Mossy Meadow. And then just put that on the other side just to, so that it's not so bleh. All right, close those up. So I don't get it all over me. Then we're gonna take our label and I am just going to put a little bit of glue right here and get this centered on here between the corners here just like that except I think it's a little bit there we go all right then I'm going to take my hole punch again and I'm just going to put a hole right there, untie my bow that I just made. That was actually pretty good. Um, I'm going to thread this on here. All right, and then we'll make another bow. You might want to give yourself a little more slack with the ribbon there, but it's all right. All right, then I'm going to take some of these solid faceted gems, and we have some mossy metal ones down here at the bottom. So I will take one here, over here, this is another thing that you might want to do while you're, before you put it on the project, and another one right there. So there it is, I'm going to have to move that one over there just a little bit, but here's your little lantern, so now I have two that can go on my mantle or my shelf and then you just push down on here pull that out and then they can go right back in here just like that and then you have a little little lantern i don't know if i turn my Eh, not really, but there it is. All right. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. All supplies can be purchased through my online store at happystamp.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.